UK police and the UK Office of Student Conduct both held its own investigations and came to the same conclusion. There was no evidence of foul play on the day that Lofton Hazelwood died. But though they did not find any evidence of forcible drinking, they did find there was a culture of hazing within the farmhouse fraternity. The UK Dean of Students report says it learned new members were forced into personal servitude and expected to participate in illegal activities, among other things. The Hazelwood family is really going through a very difficult time. They are grieving. They're, Matt Minner, the family's attorney, says when you mix hazing, alcohol, and young college students. Uh, that's a recipe for disaster. Bad things are going to happen. The report says the two investigations included nearly 50 interviews, reviews of video surveillance, and hundreds of thousands of messages and social media exchanges. On the night of the incident, UK police say members were expected to participate in an unregistered chapter event in which farmhouse members were to serenade a sorority on campus. Hazelwood was described as having consumed 18 one-ounce shots of alcohol within 45 minutes. Alcohol police say was purchased with a fake ID. We are committed to addressing this issue. After realizing Hazelwood was drunk, police say members of the fraternity left him at the house alone. When they came back, the report states those members found him unresponsive and called police. Here we are at a time when so many college freshmen are coming home for Christmas. Um, and the Hazelwood family is going to have a huge void and a huge hole. UK says several students could face code of conduct violations, and the chapter is suspended and all members must move out. It also says several changes to staff, education, and intervention efforts will be made. I'm Bobby McSwine, WHAS 11, on your side.